you know, I'm gonna say this side is much greener. So today we're gonna test out the two most common nitrogen sources side by side and see which one produces a darker green line. So the idea for this video was actually inspired by a grass focused live stream that I watched last week. Ammonium sulfate green is like this nice dark forest green. When somebody greens up grass with urea based fertilizer, to me the grass looks almost like plasticky yellow green. Where he said that nitrogen sourced from ammonium sulfate can produce a darker green lawn than nitrogen sourced by urea. And as soon as I heard him say that, I knew this would be the perfect experiment for a YouTube video. Now truth be told, I never heard the theory that one type of nitrogen can make your lawn greener than the other. So first let's take a look at each one of these and find out why one may work better than the other. So when it comes to these two sources of nitrogen, they both have their pros and cons. So let's take a look first at urea. The first pro is it's the cheapest nitrogen source on the market. But just because urea is cheap doesn't mean it's always the best option. See, it has a high risk of evaporation. So depending what the temperature is outside, if it's too hot, or depending what your soil's pH is, urea can evaporate into the atmosphere. And that's bad for two reasons. Number one, you're gonna lose nitrogen in your lawn. And number two, you're gonna be putting CO2 emissions into the atmosphere. And on the flip side, you have ammonium sulfate, which has little to no risk of evaporating into the atmosphere. And another benefit to it is that once you apply it, it's fast acting, so you could start to see results within one or two days. Well, it sounds like ammonium sulfate is the clear winner, right? Well, not really, because it also comes with its own potential side effect. First thing is it can reduce the pH in your soil. So if you already have a slightly acidic soil, it can make it even more acidic. But if you're like me and you have a heavy clay soil with a high pH, it could actually be beneficial because it could bring the pH levels down to a more optimal level. So another con with ammonium sulfate is that it has a high sodium index. So if you're not used to spraying things on your lawn and you make a mistake, you could easily burn it. So just be careful if you're first starting off and you wanna try it out. But the real reason we're here is to find out which one of these produces the darker green lawn. So in order to find out, we're gonna paint out two plots, 50 square feet each, and in one we're gonna apply the urea and the other we're gonna apply the ammonium sulfate. So when it comes to applying fertilizer, most of you guys are probably used to broadcasting granules across your lawn, but today we're gonna to be applying it in this backpack sprayer right here. And the reason we're doing that is because we're gonna get a more accurate application over our test plots. Not to mention when you apply these raw types of nitrogen, they're easily dissolvable inside water. So we'll fill this bucket up with some water, dissolve them in there, transfer them to this backpack sprayer, and then we'll go ahead and put them down. So the first application we're going to make is the ammonium sulfate. The MPK ratio on this specific fertilizer is 2100, meaning it has a total of 21% nitrogen. And we're going to apply the equivalent of 0.15 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Alright guys, so in the second plot we're going to apply the urea. This has a total of 46% nitrogen and we're gonna apply the equivalent of 0.15 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. So if any of you guys are new to lawn care and you're kind of curious to what kind of fertilizer this is, I'm not testing a specific brand of fertilizer. I'm testing the active ingredients that are found in the most common fertilizers. Hi right, guys, so it's been 10 days and I gotta say we got some very interesting results going on here. I'm not sure how this is showing up on camera, but if we take a look at these test plots, there's a clear difference in the color between the two. So taking a look at the ammonium sulfate ply, we could definitely tell it's much greener than the urea. And just like Green Doc said, it really does have this forest green shade of green to it. And taking a look at the urea ply, it looks okay. You could definitely tell there was something applied to it but it's nowhere near the amount of green that the ammonium sulfate is. So something I found really interesting is taking a look at the ammonium sulfate, I saw that not only is it greener, but it also has a lot more growth. I would say up to 25% more growth. Don't quote me on that because I didn't measure it, but it's definitely a lot taller than the urea plot. I don't know if this is because of the added sulfur in the ammonium sulfate or that the urea just volatilized into the atmosphere, but something in the ammonium sulfate plot promoted growth more than the urea plot. So the real question is, does ammonium sulfate lead to a darker green lawn? 
or does it only look greener because urea is prone to evaporating into the atmosphere in these hotter temperatures? Honestly, I don't really know the answer to that question.